So Algebra 2, this is Chapter 4, Section 2. This will be the third video in this series um, covering uh, adding and subtracting matrices, and we're going to do a couple of application problems here. So I have a table down below, and the table shows the number of households in the U.S. and the number of U.S. Uh, US households that had a computer, um, a PC, in given years. Using matrices, we want to find the number of U.S. households without a PC. So in our first column here, we have the year. Our second column, we have total households. And in the third column, we have households with a PC. Let's go back and look at this. We want to use matrices to find the U.S. households with, without a PC. And we have the U.S. households with a PC. So if we've got total households and households with a PC, we want to know the number without a PC, we would be doing a subtraction. So we're going to do a subtraction. We're going to have a matrix here. We're going to call this one A. We're going to call this one B. And we will subtract A minus B. At that point, it's pretty easy. We're just going to write our two matrices. So do we even ye need the year in our matrix? I don't think so. We're just looking straightly on how many households. So my first one is going to be 97.7. .7. My second one is 98.9. My third one is 100.0. And I've got 101.0 and 101.7. There's my matrix A. And I'm going to subtract off matrix B, which is 33.2, 38.7, 44.0, 47.8, and 51.9. And you're saying, but Mrs. Fowl, this is just so easy. Why are we doing this? And I say to you, because it's going to get a lot harder very quickly. And if we don't do the easy stuff, you're going to get lost real fast. So bear with me for the easy stuff here. Um, so then we want to subtract. So we're going to take the first element here, this 97.7, and subtract the very top element on the other side, which is the 33.2. And if you're good at, with math, you can just go ahead and do that. Otherwise, grab your calculator. So 97.7, which I'm going to grab the calculator and make sure I don't mess up, because you guys know how well I do with that sometimes. And this will be 64.5. And then we're going to take our second element down. So that's that 98.9 and the 38.7. So 98.9 and subtract off the 38.7. And this is going to be a 60.2. Then we're going to go down to that third element. So that's a 100 on this side, 0, .0 minus the 44. And that's going to be a 56. Point zero. And then we're going to go down to the next element. So that's 101 minus 47.8. So 101 minus 47.8. And you end up with a 53.2. And the last one down at the bottom is 100.7 and subtract off the 51.9. 101.7 minus 51.9. Nine, and you end up with the last element giving you 49.8. And there's your resultant matrix. And you could put these years back on there if you needed to. So in 95, um, the number of households without a PC was 64.5 million. And in 1999, the number of households without a PC was 49.8 million. One more example here. Let's look at the table below shows the number of endangered and threatened species in the United States and in the world. How many more endangered and threatened species are there on the world list than on the U.S. list? How many more? OK, those are some key words here. How many more? How many more to mean means to subtract. So we're subtracting again. And we want to know how many more endangered and threatened species are on the world list than on the U.S. list. So we're going to write our two matrices. So we've got our world list, and we have our US list. Right. So we want to take and write a matrix for each one of those. And we want to know how many more endangered species are on the world list than the US list. So we're going to take the world list first. And let me just change colors here. There's my US list in green and world list in red. So we're going to take our world list and make our matrix. So that's going to be 309 and 24. This will be 252 
birds and 21 threatened birds, 79 endangered reptiles and 36 threatened reptiles, um, 17 uh, endangered amphibians and 9 threatened amphibians, and 80 endangered fish and 42 threatened fish. And then we'll write our subtraction and look at the U.S. So there are 61 endangered mammals and 8 threatened mammals, 74 endangered birds and 15 threatened birds, 14 endangered reptiles and 22 threatened reptiles, 9 endangered amphibians and 8 threatened amphibians, and then 69 endangered fish with 42 threatened fish. So it looks like all the fish in the world that are threatened are from the U.S., if I'm reading that correctly. So then we want to do a subtraction. So we're going to take and it go element by element again. So we're going to have this 309, and we're going to subtract off the 61, and we're going to have the 24 and subtract off the 8. We'll have the 2... 52 and subtract off the 74, and we'll have the 21 and subtract off the 15, and this is 79 and subtract off the 14, and 36 subtract off the 22, 17 subtract off 9, and 9 subtract off 8, and then 80 subtract off 69, and 42 subtract off the 42. After that, you're ready to just do the math, so grab your calculator and grab 309 and subtract off your 61. And your resultant matrix here for the answer is going to give you 248. And then 24 minus 8 should give you 16 over here. And then you've got 252 minus 24 gives you a 228. And 21 minus 15 is 6. And then you have 79 minus the 14 is 65. And then we'll do the 36 minus the 22 is a 14. And 17 minus 9 is going to be the 8. And 9 minus 8 is 1. And then 80 minus 69 is 11, and 42 minus 42 is 0. So this gives us our endangered and our threatened, and we are looking for how many more endangered and threatened species are there in the world list than the U.S. list. So these would be the endangered and threatened species everywhere else in the world other than the United States.